Okay, so the last part is what about knowing where the player is? So Popstar needs to see if the player is adjacent to its room. Same thing for Wumpus. So a nice thing to do is, I mean, what you need to do is you need to decide what class is going to be responsible for storing the information about the player location. And then you also need to know what's an easy way of making that information accessible to the other classes that need it. Um, so like a lot of these things, there's not a single solution that's the best. Um, but ask yourself what would be most convenient, and then is there a reason not to do the thing that's most convenient? So for me, what, what seems most convenient would be if I could ask a room, do you contain the player, yes or no? Um, so, so that's the, the solution I'm going to try and pursue the implementation for. Uh, well, obviously, we could put uh, a reference to the player inside every single room. So now every room knows where the player is. Um, that has the wrong feel to it to me. That, that seems unreasonable because usually, usually the references inside, or usually the fields inside an object are supposed to be descriptions of that object. Um, and if a player doesn't actually exist in the room, it seems inappropriate to have every single room have a reference to the player. Um, but what might make sense would be to have the, the game itself, the level class, or if you still have it called graph, the graph class, have a reference to the player. Um, because that does feel like the appropriate place. The player is, in fact, in the game. Um, so if we did that, because node is an inner class of graph, that means it can access all of graph's uh, fields. So you can ask the graph for the player's location, and then you can check if the player's location is equal to this room. So that would be the method inside each room. Um, and then we can answer yes or no, does it contain the player? Um, that's definitely not the only solution to this problem, but that seems like a, an easy to implement one. Last thing, I forget whether or not I mentioned it earlier. Um, I want to reemphasize that it is, it's not, it's not, a bad idea to ask a room to for a list of its neighbors. Like that's a thing we might need. And in fact, my Popstar implementation uses that. My Popstar says, "What's my current room?" And then, "Room, could you tell me all of the neighbors that you have right now?" And then the Popstar loops through the neighbors and asks each one, "Do you contain the player?" What's bad is if you return a ref if room returns a reference to its internal list, and that would be bad because in this case, for example, uh, chicken would then be able to modify the neighbors of its own room, and I don't want to give chicken that power. Like room needs to protect who's able to to change its neighbors. Um, but what you can do is this. This is the new thing. Uh, collections .unmodifiable list puts a wrapper around this array list um, and returns it. And so now it's sort of like having a read-only list. You can loop over it. You can ask it its length, all those things. But you're just not allowed to modify it. You can't add to it. You can't remove things from it. So this is like a nice, safe way of returning uh, lists or other collections from inside, uh, from inside an instance if somebody else needs to see what they are. OK, that's it. Good luck.